Hello learners, hope you all are doing good. In the last tutorial, we talk about Oracle Cloud Infrastructure 2023 Foundation Associate course. So I hope you all guys have enrolled in this course and grab this opportunity to learn Oracle Cloud. So today in this tutorial, uh, we will try to uh, give one online certification exam. So you will have all the answer. We will try to score as much as we can. So let's start. So we need to click over this get started and it will prompt to our exam dashboard. So it will take some time and it will load like this. So here you can see um, what is the requirement of this exam. So you need to have one personal computer which is having reliable internet and then uh, the format of this exam is multiple choice you might have single choice and multiple type of questions and uh, see the duration of exam is 60 minutes we will have around 35 questions so let's begin so I will click over this begin exam and then click over this continue so we need to agree to the terms and condition of Oracle and need to agree over here once we agree it will prompt to our exam so this is how it will look like uh, this uh, pop pop notification and we can click over this continue test so we can click here to open assessment in new tab so for better visibility i will click here first so it will load in a new tab so you guys can view clearly and now I will click over this continue test when I will continue the exam is started so here is the first question which oracle cloud infrastructure service is not designed for multi cloud solution so oracle roving edge infrastructure is the uh, cloud infrastructure which uh, is not designed for multi cloud other all the oracle My, mysql heatwave oracle database service for azure oracle interconnect for azure is designed for oracle roving edge infrastructure so i will select c option here then i will click over next which statement best describe the relationship between, between cloud infrastructure regions and availability domains so as we all know an availability domain is a part of a region so we will select this option and then click over the next what is the primary goal of distributing resource across multiple availability domain in oracle cloud and infrastructure so we do this uh, to improve our fault tolerance and high availability so correct answer is b what work load types are supported by oracle cloud infrastructure autonomous database so basically it is used for transaction processing and data warehousing so the correct answer is the first which database technology underlies oracle cloud infrastructure autonomous database so as we all know if we have uh, gone through the course we uh, know that autonomous database is a type of database uh, which uh, heals itself like uh, any type of failure it's um, like uh, getting covered by a database itself so oracle database uh, is the underlying technology which support oracle cloud infrastructure autonomous database option so correct answer is c uh, what is the primary purpose of mysql database service heatwave configuration in oci so basically uh, it provide a distributed in memory query accelerator so correct answer is first which workload type is not optimized for oracle autonomous data based on shared XR data infrastructure so for shared XR data infrastructure high performance computing workload type is not optimized so we will select this high performance computing which is a key benefit of using oracle cloud infrastructure autonomous database so as i uh, discussed earlier uh, basically it reduces the database management over it because it heals itself uh, how are a compartment quotas applied in the uh, oracle cloud infrastructure so basically it 
of on a per compartment basis okay so correct answer is 4d uh, in oracle cloud infrastructure what can you set up to receive notification when budget thresholds are reached so email notifications email alerts are the uh, budget received notification type uh, when budget thresholds reach their limit so correct answer is ml alert in oracle cloud infrastructure block volume service uh, which feature enables you to increase the size of block volume without any downtime so uh, we have online resizing uh, in this uh, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure volume, Block Volume Service. Uh, it never been downtime. Like it's it has no downtime. Uh, we will always uh, perform their task without any downtime. So online resizing is the correct answer. In Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Object Storage, which storage tier is designed for rarely accessed data that can be restored within hours. So this was covered in the course itself. So archive storage is the Oracle Cloud uh, object service which is used rarely. So correct answer is the first option. Which file protocol does Oracle Cloud infrastructure file storage system used to enable file sharing across instance? So it's network uh, file system without a doubt. So we will select first option. Which performance level is not available in the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure vol Block Volume Service? So high performance is there, ultra high performance is there, balance is there. So I believe uh, the correct answer is low performance. Which feature of Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Object Storage Service enables user to automatically move object between a storage tier based on the predefined rules? So basically, um, this is this question is a little bit tricky uh, for those who have uh, like gone through the course they might think it's pre-authenticated request but no uh, it's talking about uh, based on the predefined rules so for predefined rules is object life cycle management okay then we can move to the another question which is not a component of identify and access management policy statement in oracle cloud infrastructure so if you have gone through the course, you have uh, seen seven, eight uh, uh, component of IAM. So action verb is there, location is there, resource type is there, data backup frequency is not there. So we will select the fourth option and I believe it's correct also. Which statement is not true about compartment in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure? So compartment provide a store to manage an encryption key and security. No, it's wrong. Okay. So basically, a vault is the system which uh, a way to store and manage encryption keys and secrets. Okay, let's move to the other. What is the primary goal of the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Shared Security Model? Okay, so to ensure a comprehensive secret posture. So this is the correct answer because uh, as a shared security model, it's a customer and Oracle duty to secure their uh, data and everything need to take care by customer and Oracle both it's not uh, like customer or oracle uh, respectively it's uh, both which factor does not impact the cost of running a virtual machine in instance in oracle cloud infrastructure so um, as i discussed in the first tutorial also like where i said like aws and azure uh, these uh, services are varying from each region let's say uh, if you are uh, using some servers in India, the cost is uh, $90, uh, but in US, it will be $70. So basically, uh, it differs on the region, but uh, in Oracle, it's not like same. So uh, the price of the um, virtual machines is same across every region. So we will select the region used by the VM instance. In Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, what does the universal credit pricing model allow customer to do? So basically this is the universal credit pricing model where you need to pay some amount to use your service uh, uh, seamlessly. So here we use a uh, huge prepared uh, pre credit for any eligible cloud service. Okay. So I believe this is the correct answer also. And let's move. 
uh, which Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Service is possible. Uh, infrastructure Service is responsible for securely storing and managing encryption. So as I already discussed in uh, I think 17th question, a uh, vault is the system which uh, ensures to store and managing the encryption keys and secret keys. So correct answer is what? Which Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Service continuously monitor your cloud resource and configuration to detect access and limited security. So cloud advisor or uh, cloud guard uh, is the correct answer to detect access and limited security risk. Uh, which feature is not provided by Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Security Zones? Which feature is not provided by Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Security Zones? So continuous uh, okay Continuous monitoring security posture, automatic enforcing security best practices, storing, manage encryption keys. Um, I believe the correct answer is uh, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. So uh, this is the uh, correct answer. I believe. Let's uh, go with uh, this option. Storing and managing. So this is the correct option, I believe. A breach Oracle Cloud Infrastructure is designed to protect your applications from various type of malicious attacks such as SQL injection across site scripting is WF. Web application firewall is the correct option for you. Now, uh, what is the term used to describe the combination of an instance safe base image and metadata in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Compute Service? So the term used is uh, instance configuration. Okay. Uh, what type of storage is primarily used for storing the boot volume of an instance in the Oracle Cloud or infrastructure computing compute service? Okay, so I believe it's block storage. So I will go with block storage here. And which feature in in the Oracle Cloud infrastructure compute service enables user to migrate running instance between different physical servers so uh, oracle is uh, providing one uh, feature which is live migration uh, which is used to migrate running instance between different physical servers so i will go with live migration which feature does the oracle cloud infrastructure compute service leverage for ensuring high availability of application high availability of applications so I think uh, the correct answer will be uh, fault domain. Uh, this is the correct answer, I think. So fault domain uh, uh, gives us the way to uh, ensure high availability of the applications. Okay, so let's go with this option only. Next, uh, which is not a type of instance offered by Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Compute Service. So dedicated uh, virtual machine host is provided by OCI. Virtual machine is also provided by OCI. Bare metal is also there. So nano instance, I believe is, this is the correct answer, which is not provided by Oracle. So I will select nano instance. What is the primary purpose of Oracle Cloud Infrastructure functions? To execute code in response to event or HTTP request. So this is the correct answer. And uh, which type of load balancing policy? So supported by OCI for load balancer. So round robin is the load balancing policy which is used by OCI uh, for load balancers. Okay. Now what is the primary purpose of uh, network security group in the Oracle? Uh, cloud 
um, infrastructure so to connect a vision to the public internet to connect uh, traffic to provide a private connection between uh, between a specific resource within a vision to provide a private connection between a vision with and on premise so i think the fourth option is the correct answer so let okay within so this i am confused with this i will go with this one to control traffic flow between a specific resource within a region okay so network security nsg in this so this is the correct answer uh which component uh, of the oracle cloud infrastructure service allow a resource in a vision to access oracle cloud service without traversing a public uh, internet so without traversing a public uh, uh, public internet so i i think the correct answer is service gateway so without traversing the public uh, internet service gateway is the correct option to have okay and then we have a uh, which component of the oracle cloud infrastructure network service provides a private connection between a vcn on a on premises network so i believe the correct answer is dynamic route routing gateway and this was also covered in your course so this is the correct answer what is the primary function of a route table in oracle cloud infrastructure network service so to define the rules to route traffic from subnet to destination outside the vcn so this is the correct option so i think this is the total number of questions so as i said like there are 35 questions we have attempt uh, 35 question let's click on summary and see if i missed any questions so we have already uh, marked or uh, given all the answers so let's submit this test let's hope we will get at least 80 85% in this exam and uh, let's click over on this submit test oh so we have got 100% so we have correct 30 out of 35 questions so now you have all the answer i try to give short explanation for all these answers hope uh, this will help so before 30th i will uh, again say to enroll in this course this is the uh, best opportunity to grab uh, learn uh, oci and uh, to certify yourself also uh, oracle is providing badge which will uh, look like uh, this so and you can see uh, it is uh, providing uh, two years uh, extension for this uh, like uh, your badge will valid for two years okay so if the badge will look like this so i will again say uh, enroll in this course try to learn something new it's not a uh, big uh, course uh, it's a five hour course uh, you can learn it uh, there is no prerequisite and uh, now you have answers also so before 30th you can try to give this exam and clear so all the best to everybody happy learning if you like the video please subscribe like and share with your friends so this is a great opportunity to learn something for them also thank you